the other option that's a great thing to look into it when you're having issues with firing. So if you're bringing a weld up and it's and, and you're trying to trigger a weld and it's initiating but not completing that weld, and you get that several times, um, that's a great indicator that you need to sharpen your electrode. Um, that's usually one of the first things that I'll do is I'm getting issues and I'm like, ah, just it's not welding the way I want it to or I think it should. I'm going to pull that electrode and I'm going to sharpen it. Um, but once again, it, it, there's no reason to not sharpen the electrode. Um, feel free to sharpen it and, and keep it as sharp as possible. Um, what we're going to talk about now a little bit is, is how to sharpen the electrode and why it's important, um, each of the facets of this. Um, and so we're going to talk a little bit about the first step, which is what we use to sharpen with. Um, here at Sunstone, we use these Dremels. They're, they're really cheap. You can get them at Walmart. You can buy them from us. You can get them on Amazon. It really doesn't matter. They're just a battery powered. It's a little battery pack. It uses double A's. They're, they're great and convenient to have. Uh, most jewelers obviously have a flex shaft or a micro motor they're already using to turn the, turn the, uh, the tool here. We, you can see here, every single Orion system comes with one of these. This is a diamond disc. Um, basically, it's just a disc with some diamond uh, uh, composite on top and is intended specifically to sharpen tungsten electrodes. Um, the importance of the tip of the disc is that it's going to give you consistent uh, striations and scratches. If you're using a different material than the diamond disc, um, you're going to get subpar results. Um, you can certainly use a heavy grit sandpaper and you can do different things. Um, but I can promise you that the original diamond disc that it came with, um, you can purchase this from us. They're extremely inexpensive. I think they're uh, five to ten dollars. Um, you can buy the discs and a whole set of discs for for fifteen dollars. Uh, they're they're really uh, useful. You can also take the screw out of the top here. You can loosen that, and then you can actually flip the disc over and use the grid on the bottom. Um, that way, you can get the life out of both sides of the disc. Um, it's very important that you get that right. Um, and that we get the right material to sharpen it. If you're trying to use something different, you may be uh, damaging not only the disc, the other disc that you're using, but as well you're going to get uh, a subpart results on the actual sharpening. The other part that's really important is where we sharpen it. And so the first step is to understand which direction that your uh, flex shaft, micromotor, Dremel is rotating. So if I turn this one on here, I can see that it is spinning counterclockwise. So it's spinning this direction like this. And the reason that that's important is as those uh, flecks of diamond on the tip of that disc are spinning around in circles, they're, they're creating a path or pattern. And we want to make sure we know what direction that's coming so we know which way to put which side of the disc to place the electrode on to sharpen it. So if I take my electrode here, what we're looking to get is we're looking to get it right here on this side. Uh, because this is spinning this direction, we want to make sure we get it right in this section here. And Nolan here, he's helping us today. Um, he can go ahead and pull up uh, that graphic and show you here. Um, you, as you can see there, we've got, a, we've got the diamond disc and you can see the top view there. And it's showing you exactly the section in which we want to be touching the tip of that electrode. And that's important because we want to make sure the striations, or scratches if you will, are coming down the, the length of the electrode so that they're coming parallel um, with, with the grain of the uh, tungsten. Um, that's very important in the formation and creation of that arc, that pulse arc. Um, that plasma, it, 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 the more those striations are there, the better um, and the direction of those striations will help to benefit um, that. So if we'll cut to this camera back here, I can show you here on this camera a little bit. You can see my disc there. The goal is to put the put the, ele the, the electrode right on this out this edge here as it's spinning this direction. So we can set it right on that tip and get what we need here like that. So that's important. Um, the other important fact to keep in mind here is that you want to make sure that we remove the electrode. Um, right? I'm, it's going to be impossible for me to be able to. Sorry, we're having a little bit of a technical 
glitch here. So what we're looking here is, it, it, you want to make sure that we... Re this camera's off. Okay, go ahead and let's see if we can... Apologize, we're just having some issues here. Apologize, the camera switched off there for a second. One of the things we want to make sure of, like I said, is we want to make sure we remove it from the electrode. I get a, a people who, who tend to want to like try and take their Dremel here and try and sharpen I've had that question a bunch. It doesn't work, right? You, you absolutely have to pull this electrode out and sharpen it. The most important part is obviously that we can actually get our hand and rotate that and get a, a, good, a good shaped cone. Um, so that, that's very important that we take it out of that. Um, the, other, the other question we have a lot is, how do, I, how do I hold the electrode? How do I sharpen it, right? I get a lot of people uh, who, who will do this, like this. I have people that like to do it like this. For me, and, and some of the tricks is, uh, I definitely want to take my, my, my middle finger and my index finger, and I want to place the electrode right in the middle of those two. And then I want to hold the top with, with my thumb there. That way I can roll it back and forth, and that gives me plenty of option there. The other thing is I want to make sure that I hold this at the right angle. Uh, we, I, one of the biggest mistakes, if not the biggest mistake with sharpening the electrode, is I see a lot of people who, who tend to sharpen it like this, and we get like a 45 degree angle. Um, and that's what that's doing is that's creating a very sharp, shallow point. So we're still getting a point, but it's very shallow. And so as soon as the, the tip of the electrode begins to degrade just a little bit, then we, we, the, the electrode doesn't function properly. And so you're having to, to sharpen more and more often. And so it's important that we get the right angle. We want a, between about a 10 degree and a 15 degree, which in all intents and purposes means really shallow, right? The shallower that we can make that, the, the longer that our electrode life will last. Um, and so if we hold that down here, that way I've got it between these two fingers and you can even use that third finger in there to make sure and rotate it. And we want to press down as it's rotating away from the center of the electrode to the tip. And then we want to press down as that scratches and we want to rotate it back and forth, pushing down on the tip to make sure we get a good shape. Um, so similar here. The other, the other trick that I like to do, some people, it's not a big deal. I like to, to use my body uh, to kind of steady myself. So I put, I place my wrists on, on my body here. I'll turn my Dremel on. I'll, I'll use my body there. And then I'm going to hold like this and rotate as I'm pressing. And that's important uh, simply because it, I'm not moving the electrode around. I want to keep it as stationary as I can as I rotate that in that uh, spot on the side there. Um, I'll go ahead and cut to this camera so you guys can see as I rotate this you can get a better feel for uh, what the electrode is doing. I'm going to zoom in just a titch on here. So the key here is that I want to make sure that my, I'm hitting it on this spot right here. As I'm rotating it. The other thing we want to make sure of is that when, as we're doing it, we, we get a really good sharp point here, right? So we want this, this to be about 20%, about four times the width of the electrode is about how long we want the tip of that, uh, of, of that cut. And that's going to be important because it's going to help us to, 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 to get a longer life electrode. The shallower angle... Uh, the shallower and the more material we cut, the longer that tip is going to stay semi-sharp. Even if it's not perfectly sharp like it is at this point, as it wears out down the piece, it's going to still remain more sharp than if we had done it at a shallower angle. Um, if that makes sense.